One of our next key concepts or principles in early childhood teaching and learning is developing concepts by classification. Classification systems are, are basically sorting and comparing. And this is something that's done with children as young as babies. You think about it, um, you know, while we're changing their diapers or we're playing with them with blocks, we might say, you know, the blocks are as tall as you are, or your feet are smaller than my feet. We talk to them and we engage them in language that, yes, they may or may not understand, but we're constantly comparing them and giving them visual uh, information. As our learners get a little bit older, this is a very strong tool for learning because it's concrete. If we think about the developmental stages, we need to be very clear and consistent and concise uh, when we make our comparisons and make sure that we're not giving them a comparison that's abstract. You can't compare something with something they don't know. So really having the objects you're comparing something to. One of the fun activities I used to do with my kindergartners and first graders is we would have an estimation jar. And the boys and girls learn very early in the year how to estimate. And I would put different things in the jar. I would put marbles. I would put pumpkin seeds. I would put um, sometimes cotton balls or candy. Um, but what we did was I would show them what 10 of the item looks like. And in, in your head, if you're not following along with me, think about that little contest where you say, guess how many things are in the jar, and you see the full jar. What I would do is I would have a jar that was maybe not always filled to the top. That's a little bit difficult for young learners. But I would say, okay, here's a jar of cotton balls. And here's a cup of 10 cotton balls. Or, or I usually used another jar so they were exactly the same um, container for comparing. So we have a jar of 10, and then they have the jar that they have to estimate that was my jar. And they could kind of see if this is 10, is this 20, is this 5, is this 50, um, and make some comparisons. And they actually got really good at it because they were using their strategy of classifying size. And now we can use this uh, strategy across, you know, way outside of math. But anytime that we can compare similarities and differences or compare and contrast, children can learn differences and learn new information. Uh, one of the things we use with English language learners is to show them the alphabet of their own language and the English alphabet. And if it's an alphabetic language, like Spanish or French or German or Italian, they can see that there are some letters that make the same sound in both languages, and there are some letters that make different sounds. And by showing them concrete examples, um, and the same thing with words. I know the example I always show is um, the cognate, which is a word that looks and sounds similar. In Spanish, the word is escuela. In English, the word is school. Now, listening to them uh, might not sound so so close in similarity, but when you see the two words written, escuela and school look very much similar. And so we show them these words that are the same, and it helps build their language. Uh, again, using things that are very concrete helps them build on to their uh, information that they already have, and this is important. So classification is a strategy to develop new concepts in students.